Welcome back to Dad Reads. Tonight on Dad Reads, a holiday book. Richard Scarry's best Christmas book ever. Awesome. Grouchy, Mr. Gronkle. Mr. Gronkle is a grouch. He grumbles and growls at everybody, but he grumbles most of all at children. Children, what good are they for anyway, he mutters to himself. When he sees a child, he snarls, Get out of my way, kid. Mr. Gronkle is very rich. He lives in a big house with a pond out front. In the winter, he could skate on the frozen pond, but he doesn't. Mr. Gronkle doesn't believe in having fun. And he doesn't believe in having friends. He lives alone in that big old house. Why, he won't even let someone come in and help him clean his house. It looks like a pig pen, which is fitting because he's a pig. One fine day, just before Christmas, Lowly Worm suggests they all go ice skating at Mr. Gronkle's pond. We should ask permission first, says Huckle Cat. Oh, I'm sure Mr. Gronkle won't mind, says Lowly. But Mr. Gronkle, as you can see, clearly does mind. He is furious. He runs down to the frozen pond, swinging his walking stick. He runs out of the ice. Look out, Lowly. Whoops, Mr. Gronkle slips, as one is wont to do on slippery ice. Crack, right through the ice, he goes into the freezing water. Help save me, he cries. He tries to climb out, but the ice cracks more. He can't get out by himself. At first, the children feel that it serves nasty little Mr. Gronkle right, but then they begin to feel sorry for him. He'll soon freeze in that cold water, says Huckle. We must help him. Don't leave me, shouts Mr. Gronkle when he sees the children running off. But they're not leaving him. They're going to find a ladder. Huckle puts the ladder on the ice. Lowly lines himself like a rope around Mr. Gronkle's nose. What are those terrible children doing, wonders Mr. Gronkle. Then they all pull on Lowly. Slowly, they pull Mr. Gronkle out of the water and onto the ice. You're the best rope ever, Lowly, says Huckle. Now I know what children are good for, says Mr. Gronkle. They're good for saving cranky, grouchy Mr. Gronkle. Mr. Gronkle promises to change his nasty ways. He starts by having a wonderful Christmas party for all the children. He has such a good time that he decides to turn his house into a play center. Now cranky, grouchy Mr. Gronkle is called cheerful, friendly Mr. G. He always is busy seeing that the children have a good time at his house. Merry Christmas, Mr. Gronkle. And that is the end of Richard Scarry's best Christmas book ever. Now remember, Click the circle to subscribe to all of our videos throughout the year. And parents, if you want to buy this book for your kids so you can read it to them around Christmas time yourself, look for the link to purchase in the description below. Good night and Merry Christmas from Dad Reads.